Hi everybody, this is Julia and welcome to my kitchen. And today I wanted to show you how to make my special Swiss salad dressing. And in Switzerland we actually call this style of dressing a French dressing. However, most Americans will recognize it more as a ranch dressing. And just about everybody that has ever tried this dressing has given me rave reviews on it. And so today I wanted to share my recipe with you. And to get started, we are going to chop up a couple of cloves of garlic. And so I've already peeled those. We'll toss those into the thermomix here. Turn that on and then we're going to turn it up to like an eight. Oh, we'll have to turn on the thermomix itself too. And then we'll turn it up to an eight. Give it a good whirl. And you can hear that it's done. So now all of the uh, garlic is stuck sort of to the side of the bowl. And I will see if I can bring this closer. Should be able to see how the garlic is all over the side here in little pieces. Now, uh, just like with a ranch dressing, it's actually, in case you didn't know, ranch dressing is basically uh, a mayonnaise and sour cream plus a few other things um, whipped into a dressing. So we're going to make some mayonnaise. And to that, we'll add the butterfly. And then one egg. And I have, I use nice pastured eggs uh, from a trusted source, so I'm not concerned about health issues, but if you are, you know, find a different uh, egg. And then a tablespoon of uh, mustard, and I always use Dijon, but you could use yellow mustard if, so, if you prefer. And I don't measure those type of things, I just squirt them in. And then we're going to whip that up. And whenever you have the butterfly in, don't do anything um, higher than a four. So we'll put this on a four. And whip it up. And now we have to start, just like with mayonnaise, now we have to add the, the oil. And so we'll start to drizzle that in. With, oil, with, with mayonnaise and oil, you're looking to make what's called an emulsion. So, at, especially at the beginning, you want to add small quantities and you want to give it time to emulsify. Once you're about halfway in, you can usually start adding a lot more. And with the thermal mix, you can actually leave the lid on like this and then just add your oil into the rim and it would, will slowly drip down. And we have about two cups of oil here. I use a sunflower oil. You can use any oil you want. I prefer a very neutral tasting oil. I've used uh, walnut oil in the past. Uh, you know, you could use vegetable corn or canola oil, though I don't personally use those types of oils. Whatever floats your boat. And so I'm just going to add this oil here in a steady stream and it'll drip down. And as you can see, it just kind of comes out of my bowl here, my, my um, thing in a fairly steady stream. And I've got almost half of the oil in here now. And so I'm going to have a look and make sure that the mayo is actually coming together well, and it is. So at this point, I can start adding the oil a little bit uh, faster. Because once you have achieved an emulsion, then it's just a matter of adding more oil into the emulsion. And you can't see, you can probably see this on the video, but the oil is actually uh, pooling here in the lid of the Thermomix because it's, it's dripping down slowly into it. And I like making sure to hold down the, the lid so at the end I'll just place the just measure, measuring cup on top of it to, to give it some weight. I'm going to be careful here because it's glass and I don't want it to drip, fall and break. Alrighty, and we 
basically have all of the oil in the um, in the mayonnaise, and I'm gonna step out of the picture here for a second to go get the uh, spatula. And so what I'm gonna do now is just make sure I get the rest of the oil to go down into the mayonnaise. And then we're gonna stop this. And take the lid off. And scrape down the sides. And usually you want to go around the, the center bottom at least once because stuff can accumulate there. So now you basically have a nice aioli since this is, um, it has garlic in it and it's a garlic mayo. So you can use that for other uh, items, as other things as well. And then I'll give it another whirl. Alrighty, and then when that is done, we have to add, we're going to add two, well actually I'll weigh it out, so I'm just going to, okay, so now we're going to add some vinegar and we're going to add, it's two deciliters of, of vinegar. Let me take this cup off, measuring cup. And so we're going to add this vinegar. I'm using some unfiltered apple cider vinegar today. So it's just about like 200, 210 grams of um, vinegar. And again, you can use whatever vinegar you want. I, I use, uh, this time I've used apple cider, I've used rice vinegar in the, in the past. And what would really be nice probably too is like a uh, herb vinegar, some sort of, you know, uh, thing like that. And then sour cream. And uh, we want 180 grams of sour cream and you can use yogurt too. And I'm actually gonna take the lid off because I wanna make sure that I don't get the sour cream on top of the, um, the butterfly. Stir that back out. And you could use uh, uh, yogurt, like a Greek yogurt or a regular yogurt. It's more about sort of the, the tartness. And we want 180 grams or thereabouts, so I'm just a little short here. Well, I ended up at 190, and that's okay too. Put the lid back on, oh, one more thing. And then we want um, a tablespoon of herbs. And I just use Italian herbs, Italian seasoning mixture. You can use whatever herbs you know you think would taste best. And then we'll turn this back on to a four. And whirl it around. It doesn't take long, so 15 seconds. Should have it all mixed up. Take this off. And there we go. And we'll show you what this looks like. And this makes a good two cups of salad dressing. Definitely want to store it in the fridge. I, I've had no issues with it lasting me for weeks and weeks. So, you know, since. Uh, you have a raw egg in here. Um, I should probably advise you to use it up within a few days. But, you know, you do whatever you feel is best for you and your family. And so what I'm doing now is just scraping down the sides a little bit because there's always a little bit of mayo that sort of gets stuck on the side. It doesn't combine with the rest of the seasoning. And then I'm going to give it another whirl. And then what I do is I use a canning jar that I 
sterilized with some boiling water and I stored in that in the fridge and I've never had any issues but you know do what you think is right for you Alrighty, that's that. I will uh, show you the salad I'm making tonight with this dressing on it and I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it and I hope you will make this recipe and enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks for visiting me in my kitchen. So here's a picture of the salad we had that night. Cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce and feta cheese. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that you should add salt and pepper to taste. And the recipe actually makes about four cups of dressing not two as I mentioned in the recipe. As always, I would love to hear how it turned out for you and don't forget to like and subscribe.